Hi everyone. Uh, the this isn't like uh, today. I'll be de demonstrating uh, extension work we did on the AICUCI. Uh, so a little background: the AICUCI is used for building container images for like uh, based on some base uh, base container images and some additional features, whatever the user provides. So it basically couples them together and builds a container image so that's ready to use. Uh, we have done an extension on that. Uh, what we are today, what we are presenting is um, that once an image build, uh, image build process is done, completed, we build, we send out the build logs and image to dot for analysis. And based on uh, once the dot receives this, dot analyzes them and uh, updates its knowledge graph. And based on that, next time when users are doing or uh, users are uh, up updating their uh, there are container images with Thamos advisor um, or just updating their base image, uh, then they can use utilize uh, this feature because uh, then the knowledge graph can help them out with the updated information. Uh, Vido had demonstrated uh, earlier today uh, some of the uh, uh, one of the in the one of the demos like how this is happening, uh, like uh, that you can. Uh, that also uh, once we do the image analysis, we also store the information about it. Uh, you can have a look at that demonstration, and then if you look at this one, it will be more uh, easy to understand. Uh, so let's jump into like how this will be done. So let's start from something uh, on. Uh, let's do here. So I have a test test application. So in a test application, I I am trying to uh, use this as an image which can be used in Jupyter Hub. So a Jupyter Hub base image can be any of the minimal image or uh, any of this. So we are using here a custom image. So this, uh, what happens with this is if I build the image with this, then it will have all my information of all the uh, content which is provided in this uh, repository into that container output container image. So I've named it as to a test notebook image, and now this is what we'll be building and testing. I already have a tag for it, so I will just re-trigger so that we can see what happens. So just let's just re-trigger it. I re-triggered it. Let's go to the uh, dashboard. Uh, here we can see a pipeline has started. Uh, the pipeline will start. It will capture a few of the information, start building the image. As a as this is a stepped serialized method, uh, we didn't want to add the, the sending method here because what if the build fails? Then we also want to capture that information. So what we have done is moved that particular part into a sidecar. Uh, as soon as uh, the container for the release one starts, we can see the sidecar running along with it. So uh, it is uh, initializing, now it's done. So the side information cannot be seen in from the dashboard, but it can be seen from the side of the administrator side. So here we are waiting for the step build to finish. Uh, build is the step where actual build happens. So the base uh, base image will be pulled, um, and environment variables will be added to it. And once it's done, then it will uh, containerize the content of the repository and send out dot put image. We have added three. Um, Important environment variables, which is used from Todd's side. One is the name of the image, uh, uh, the and the version of the image, and along with it, what runtime environment are we using? So once this build finishes, I'll, while while this is happening, uh, the container is still listening to it and seeing okay, it is still running. So let's wait for it. Um, uh, while this is happening, let me tell you the next uh, component of it is the sending this. Uh, so this this will send the build logs for analysis, and the next step would be to send the output image for analysis. So uh, that step will that is a serialized step because in this case, um, we would have to send the output image only for analysis, only if the whole step is uh, has run successfully. So if there is no output image, there is no point of sending. Like there would be an there won't be anything to be sent for analysis. So as you can see, uh, this uh, build has been started. Uh, so we can see the uh, the sidecar. Uh, it says build step step is completed. It would have sent a, a request to Todd for analysis, and we can see uh, that. I'll show you in from Todd side as well. 
let's also see what happened here. It also, once it pushed the image to Quay, it also sent an invite, uh, sorry, and, and request for image analysis. So let's take, uh, let's go to the dot side and see what's happening. So I'll take you through from administrative side. So we are doing it in the test cluster for now, for today, for the demo. So if you can see here, a build analysis has been started based on the build uh, request, which we have sent from the CI. And along with it, there is a package extract, and this corresponds to the image analysis part. So the, the image is, uh, the, uh, the request has been sent here and it is, has started this. So once this, they do their purpose, once they are done, they will sync it to their knowledge, uh, into Todd's knowledge graph and the information about whatever happened in the build log or and stuff like that will be there. So a build analysis will pass through, or uh, sorry, uh, will pass through the uh, log and gen like, and pass through the issue and see what packages were installed and check based on that and update it to, into the knowledge graph. Uh, and uh, once you can see this, like how Frido already demonstrated, you can go to uh, our um, uh, UI and you will also have them listed in this. So once this everything completes successfully, you can try it out and you should have a list like this stating what container image was included into dots knowledge graph. Uh, it will take some time to finish all these things, but that's pretty much it. Uh, and uh, for uh, the code of the AI CVCI, you can have a look at, um, you can ha have a look at the bin and analysis uh, and we have everything in the tag release. So, so that's the stuff. Uh, we have the container image building part. Once it's done, pushing part, and then we submit the issue for analysis. And there is a sidecar which sends the build config for analysis. So this is what we had for today. When uh, this will be, this is uh, this will be online uh, for other teams to be used in AICUE, and then for each image which AICUCI builds, it will also send for analysis. So it, in that way, our users can take more benefits from this. Uh, yeah, um, this is a, uh, yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, no questions. Nice, thanks. Sounds Thank like you. no questions. Cool, thanks.